hello god's people welcome back so it's still the 30th of august 2020 so i want to bring to you um esther chapter 5 verse 2 it says when the king saw esther standing in the inner court he welcomed her and he held out the gold scepter to her so esther approached and touched the end of the gold scepter all right so this is an answer prayer because from the verse that I shared before this one, that's um, Esther chapter 4 verse 16, you know, um, Esther had a mission to reach out to the king, to go and meet the king in his inner court and, you know, make a request to save the life of her people, that's the life of the Jews. But then there was this law that if you're not invited into the king's in a court you could be killed except the king stretches out his gold scepter to you that's the only thing that will save your life so esther st stood a chance of being killed what if she goes in to meet the king and he doesn't stretch out that gold scepter to her her life would be all gone but then she told her people to pray and fast for her and she made up her mind that if i perish i perish if i'm if i get killed for doing this let it be so it is what it is and so she she went and here we see that at the tall end of the third year of that praying and fasting she went for that mission and guess what god answered her prayer this was prayer answered number one that her life will be spared and this particular verse says that she found favor hmm. favor is something all of us should have and it should be part of our prayer topic every day let us thank god for his favor let us ask god for favor that if we find ourselves in situations where others their heads are chopped up that rather we will find favor and god will do, continue to do it for us so when Esther went to see the king, he stretched out that gold scepter and she touched the end of it. So this is my prayer for each and every one of us that every battle, every mission we are embarking on, that God will answer our prayer one at a time. So this is prayer number one answered. The next thing is to make requests for the life of her people to be saved. Did God answer this prayer as well? All right, we'll see as we keep moving on with this story of Esther. All right, just make sure you are reading your Bibles, okay, and doing what the Word of God says. And I challenge you to memorize at least one verse from the Scriptures every day.